Welcome, this is part 2 of this two part series, if you have not watched part 1, please make sure to watch part 1 first and then watch part 2, thank you very much. Anyway, let's go look at something else. I think that anybody watching this screencast can understand how very powerful this extension can be. And let's go install something else. File, and let's insert cache cleaner. Upload file and install, and there we are. As you can see, on the top right corner here, we have cache cleaner. And really that's all that we had to do. Click on that and your cache is cleaned. Otherwise, what you usually had to do, you had to go to clean cache, select your uh, cache when it appears, of course, uh, this site doesn't have any cache. Click on delete, and then go to the purchase part cache. And even then, sometimes, the cache doesn't get cleaned very well. And I often had to go into the file system and delete the files from there. So the cache cleaner is a great little extension, very lightweight, you hardly feel it, and uh, very, very, very useful. Let's go install something else. Choose file, let's install module anywhere. And open, upload and install, and here we are. Let's go take a look at the plugin manager. Now, we are not going there because modules anywhere uh, needs to be turned on like many plugins do, but because there are some settings that we may want to set up before we go on and use it. You can see in this uh, screen here that we can choose the wrapping of the module that we'll insert in our content or in our components for the matter, as we'll see in a second. And uh, I usually like to do no wrapping, and I can always uh, wrap the module code with uh, something custom. Like with the other extensions, please read everything on the administration, on the no number website, and you can also click on more info to go read more about it. You need to master what it can do, like the default uh, uh, Joomla plugin that does a similar thing. You can insert entire positions, and you can also create your own module module tag and module position tag if you like. You can choose to assign it to articles or even to components. If you enable any components and choose your component, then you can insert modules into your component. And you can also activate other areas or deactivate them in case you have any problems. I'm gonna leave it in the stock mode here. I'm not gonna do anything to it. I'll let you play with it yourselves. Again, we just close this. And let's go back to our content manager and to our old friend here, Joomla features. Now you'll notice that on our article manager here, we have an insert module tag. And all you have to do is insert your cursor somewhere, click on insert module, and now we can select a module to make appear in our article. Login forms are always something that you wanna have other places in the site as needed. So we'll take the login form and there it is, module login form. Let's apply and let's go take a look, refresh. And there it is, we have our login form. Of course, it didn't work too well here. We got some bullet points and stuff, but you can easily go into the code here, find the login form and wrap it in any code you like. We can put a div around it. Let's apply and refresh again. And now it looks a little better. Of course, we could have uh, pointed to it with CSS and many other ways, but in any case, you have all the control you would have in a regular article. A great little extension, again, something very useful, something that, uh, another thing that Joomla should have, really. And uh, off screen, by the way, I also have added the Add to Menu extension, and this one allows you to add your article to any menu. Establish a parent item, click on Add, and the menu is added. So that's another very useful little extension. If you remember, this feature was available in Joomla 1.0 and for some reason it was deleted from the Joomla 1.5 specs. Well, we have reached the end of yet another 10 minute Joomla tips. Again, I would like to thank you for watching this. I invite you to send me emails uh, and uh, request screencasts on the topics that you would like to hear the most. I cannot promise I can do everything, but for a time reason, it takes about three hours to create a screencast and uh, time is precious, but also because I don't know everything. I rely on the community like everybody else to learn Joomla and uh, web development in general. Certainly I've been at it for longer than most folks. I started in 1994, if you can believe that. In fact, I'm probably gonna buy myself a walker. I'll be happy to do any screencast that I can do for you guys. Just send me an email and tell me what would you like to see. Also remember that uh, 
at Conte Creative, we do one-on-one -on -one online training. If you're wondering how that works, you just book for some time in advance. We agree on a time to meet online. I use GoToMeeting, which is a great way to teach just about anything that is computer related. You would be able to see my screen. I'd be able to see yours. You can work on my computer. I can work on yours. And uh, very soon, I'm going to start teaching my Joomla Dreamweaver method for those of you that are interested. It'll be a separate instruction set from uh, the one that I've been teaching so far and I'll give you more information uh, as the time approaches. Thank you again for watching. Have a good week.